Oh man, this game is gonna be a great game. This is War of Mine, and normally war games are about the soldiers, are about the people who are actually in the war that are in the army themselves. Now this game takes a little bit of perspective on the other side of things that aren't always shown. You're a civilian. You need medicine, you need food, you need resources, and all of these things are pretty rare. It's a game about survival in the midst of a civilian where you're in war. And I have pretty high hopes for this game. I think it's going to be really, really damn good. Just look at this over here. Fuck the war, you know? That's, that's how a lot of people will feel when they're in the middle of a battlefield. Let's get on and survive and play this war of mine. I saw this game on the indie on the indie section of Steam for a while, so I'm pretty pretty psyched in to play the game. I I have a feeling I'm gonna feel a lot of feels. So this is day one. Fuck the war over there. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna need my mouse. So I'll just take that off the screen. Okay, how do we... So there's three people in here I can see. How long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. There's a shortage of food and meds. And there are people are left homeless. And many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends. So when the war broke out, they decided to stay together. They met Palvel while scavenging for supplies. He used to be a Porgan Stars football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. Okay. Or maybe I do need to use my mouse on the screen. I don't really like how the mouse looks. You know, I like when games have their own mouse, but that's fine. So how do I click on everything? Let's see if there's anything useful here. So am I this guy down here? Or can I Oh, okay, so I can click on different people have them search different things at once all right Bruno um, let's have you hmm doesn't look like there's anything in there okay what do we have here we have components and we have wood probably let's just grab everything would probably be the best thing to do um, it looks like there's some supplies down here so Bruno you go look at that let's see what is this herbs yeah it's grab all those all seem like great things. Electric parts. We want to grab as much things as we possibly can because that looks like a huge pile of source we can look in. I wonder if we can get in there. Is that water? Clean water. Awesome. Grab it all. Let's see if he can break this door down. Oh, you can. Sweet. Alright. So, there's some stuff up there. Let's have you look at that. And you look at this one. So this door should be broken now. Let's open it up. Maybe there's something in there. I need to check everything that has. Ooh, what is this? What was that? Was that... Oh, it was just regular old parts? Okay. More clean water. That's nice. I think that was this guy right here. Yeah. Alright. Bruno, go look in some more stuff. Open the door up. I could force the lock only if I had tools. Hmm. Alright, so we that door is locked, so we need some tools for that. No, we need let's uh, we can't use him to help clean out that. That's unfortunate. Um, maybe we can have you go down here then. You don't seem to have too much use right now. Cause that rubble has to be cleared out. It's too bad we can't have multiple people work on the same rubble, but it makes sense at the same time. I wonder if it's possible people will just come in and dang, 22 degrees Celsius, what are you sitting on the chair for? Get out of that chair, you're being lazy, this is war time buddy, this is time of war. You need to be careful, you can't be letting people see you. Open that door up, what do we got in here? Nothing. Am I gonna jump down? Okay. It's like, don't don't mess your legs up, buddy. That wouldn't be good. 
Oh, okay, so we have some more herbs, we have some more parts, and we have, what is this again? Electronic parts as well? Yes, grab everything. Alright, buddy, you go and search that. You go search this. That rubble's almost cleared out. We're gonna have to have it clear out a lot of things soon. Ooh, a lockpick. Yes, grab everything. Alright, so we have a lockpick. So, he should be able to unlock this door now. Oh, this requires a lockpick too. Damn it! Alright. Well, buddy, you're gonna have to go over here. And see what's in here. Yeah, I mean, I hope we can manage to keep warm. If this is what we have to live in, it's not gonna be a fun time, to say the least. Start clearing out areas. Alright, this guy, I don't... Pavel, what can you do? I guess you can go over here and possibly we might be able to make something. We might be able to make something. I'm not sure though. Hey, where, where are you going? Why are you just... No, go clear out that rubble. Quit being lazy. Alright, what can we make? Household item. We can make... Mm, we can't make any beds. Or can we? Oh, no. we. I think that's how much we have and it takes six of eight. Offers a decent sleep without back pain, no matter if it's night or day. Hmm. We don't have any beds. Making a crude stove... No, we don't need moonshine. That's just horrible for us. We don't need to start drinking as soon as we start. A rainwater collector could be a really good thing to make. Hmm. So I get to decide where to place it. No, this, I guess, could be... We can make this like our place to sleep, or maybe we want to do that up here. This kind of seems like a bedroom. You know, kind of, sort of. We can place one here. Yeah, go get on and build that, buddy. Is this guy going to go sit down? I swear, if you're going to go sit down, you're going to get smacked upside the head, because that's not happening. Okay, this guy's cleaning that. He's going to build that. So we have a bed built. We're, we're building some basic foundations, and that's pretty good. I like where this is going. Now, I don't know the progression of the story. Like, we are on day one. Day one, so far, you know, it's been about seven minutes of day one. About eight, seven or six minutes. So who knows how really long days are. They're probably, if I had to guess, around ten minutes each. So that should be interesting. Let's see where things go. We could just end our day whenever we want to. That's pretty cool. I like that. As it allows us to be like, you know what? There's nothing else we can do this day. We could just skip it. Which is pretty cool. Okay. I want you to make more beds. I think getting three beds is probably pretty important. Because we want our people to be able to sleep somewhere. Now what is also a bedroom looking area? This, I suppose. We can put two beds in here. Hopefully we'll have enough for both beds. Hopefully. Yeah. Clear it out, buddy. Alright, make. Let's put this bed up in here. Place. You go do that. Alright, see, I don't know what this is going to... If we're going to be able to take a bath or not. Because it doesn't seem like there's... Oh, we can look at their bio. Okay. Before the ward, before the ward, before the ward, I used to own. I used to own a restaurant. I had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exotic dishes. All that you seem, all that seems to be no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky to even get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. Who knows how long this war is gonna last? Drag for more. I don't think I have any more information on him. That's pretty crazy. What about Marco? What did Marco do? I've thought I've been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives more times than I can remember. But back when I had people teamed up against a common foe, named me Flat the Fire. Nowadays, your former neighbor can kill you because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. Yeah, that's, that's pretty rough, dude. That's pretty rough. Something is blocking it from the other side, so we can't get to it. That's unfortunate. 
We were only made two beds. Well, this guy can scavenge. One guy can sleep. But this guy's a skilled scavenger, so let's have him scavenge. This guy can guard because he's a fast runner, so oh, he's slightly wounded. Ooh, slightly sick? Well, luckily we're having him sleep. Damn, so people can get sick and people can get wounded and that could seriously affect you really bad. The neighborhood recently got shelled and many houses are still burning. People were flaring their lives in a hurry, so many we might find many useful stuff there, here, or stuff there without meeting anyone. Lots of food, huge amount of materials, semi-detached house, shelled car. Okay, so we have all our selfage. Our, our shelter. So I can send people to go check this out. Lots of views, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, lots of parts. Decrepit Savage. It's been inhabited by the homeless since long before the war. They've been always been struggling with the lack of food and might not have survived the recent shortages. They shouldn't be a threat and we could find something useful. We don't have any weapons right now, so I don't necessarily want to go fight them. Because, uh, dude's already kind of slightly wounded, or, well, this guy is. And we only have three people, so there's probably not going to be anyone here, so let's let's go do that. Um, what do we want him to bring? I guess some water? He can bring some water. Um, he can bring some herbs, too. I think that that's all he really needs to bring. We don't have any lockpicks, so we can't do that. Nails, duct tape, uh, I'll give him, like, two of these. Yeah, that should be good. I mean, he just has a little bit of water. He should be fine. Oh, the house is still on fire. Well, they did they did mention that the house what would be on fire still. Oh, someone's coming. I think someone's coming. What is this? Why are these two woods different? Grab all. Oh, it's a rat. Okay, I was a little scared. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. I can't even take everything. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Let's take the water, let's take some wood. We might just have to leave off getting this alone. Wow, this is really, really good. This is just like a bountiful parathola of supplies. Holy crap, dude. Why can't we stack these? That sucks. Okay. Um... Well, we can take like, one more piece of wood, some more supplies of this. We can almost take everything. Well, I think that's about all we can take. So let's let's get the hell out of here. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a dead dude right there. That's sad. He died right in there. Well, at least we got like an ass ton of some materials, though. Really, what an ass ton. Like a whole metric ass. Like, that's really good. Damn, I'm really happy we got all of that. Yeah, what a night. A really damn good night. Marco's been searching for supplies. Yeah, I got water, 25 material, 12 wood. God damn, that's so freaking good. Is everyone else sleeping or are we still working on things? Alright, we never finished this, so let's go and try and finish that. Hmm. Oh, and we need to go finish the bed. Where is our third dude? Where is he? Is he asleep? Is that... Yeah, he's asleep. Okay. Well, he is sick, so we're not going to wake him up. We might have this guy go to sleep. Because he's slightly wounded, so he, it, he should... As soon as we fix this bed, I'm going to send him to sleep because the being slightly wounded is definitely not a good thing. We don't want someone coming in here and like, one of our dudes sick, one of our dude is weak, is hurt. It's like coming into like an old folks home and just beating up people because they're all injured. So we don't want any of that. As soon as we fix this bed, I think we're going to have him head to sleep and we might have this dude make another bed up in here and that will probably be it for the night. Um... How do we, I wonder if we can make lockpicks. That would be really good. Hmm. We didn't look at, okay, we looked at Pavel, right? He was, 
the firefighter. I don't think we looked at Marco's bio. What's Marco's bio? I thought of... Oh, wait, no. Wrong person. We haven't looked at Pavel's. Before this whole mess began, I lived with my wife and son for a better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during the war? Nobody cares about sports when every day they can be, can be their last. So I scavenged these ruins like everyone else, hoping for the best. Alright, dude, you honestly need to go to sleep. You need to start recovering. Alright, good stuff. Open this up. Something good. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, damn it, it's locked. Well, let's see if you can build something real quick. I don't know, this day is moving along. We don't know if something good's going to happen. We don't know if something bad's going to happen. We haven't made any weapons, so weapons will probably be a good idea to make. But we also don't have a lot of water. I don't know how much water we go throughout our days. How much it takes, what, what we really need. Okay, consumables. Filter. Homemade single-use filter to purify rainwater or distill alcohol. Okay. Metal workshop allowed to make tools such as shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self-defense. Later we could use this to build more advanced tools or even repair firearms. That would probably be a good idea to make. That would probably be a good idea. And you know, putting it basically right next to the rest of our crap is also a good idea. Because if we can make something like lockpicks, that would help us out a lot. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get into this. Maybe we have to use a, a crowbar, probably, if I was a guess. Because it says there's something behind the door blocking it. But it could just be very well fortified, and a crowbar could probably still break the door down. Hopefully we're able to do that. Alright, we got this set up. I wonder what we can make. Alright, cool, we can make lockpicks. That's what I was wondering. It doesn't look like we can make a knife, though. Because it looks like we need weapon parts, unfortunately. Shovel, that's just going to help us through... So, the, this is going to help us with, like, uh, rubble and stuff, like I mentioned before. So, I think it would be a good idea when we go scavenging to probably bring some of these items. At least one. Ooh, that's... See, we don't have, a, like, a crap ton of materials, so that's why I'm kind of scared to just use it all of a sudden. Feel. Yeah, everything is blah, blah, blah. This is to warm the place up. Or cook, a fo cook food on a stove. So, I'm guessing we have to consider the temperature it is inside the house. So, if it gets, like, really low, we probably... Uh, yeah, I guess we should make you a bed. Saying he hasn't slept in some time. Alright, dude, I'll make you a bed. You can have yourself a bed. Let's see, how's this dude doing? He's feeling slightly sick. This dude is tired and recovering. We might just have have our dudes go to sleep and end our day. Because everyone's everyone's feeling kind of down under the weather. This guy had a had a good day of scavenging last night. Didn't sleep at all. He's a trooper. He's really pulling through doing the things that we need to do. He's coming through. He's like, yeah, guys, you know, I don't need no sleep. I'll just go out here and scavenge stuff in this burning house. You know, he, he's really working. There was a rat in there. That rat could have attacked us or something. Who knows? Yeah, we're going to definitely need to be able to get some heat eventually. Because 20 degrees Celsius, man, I'm pretty sure that's pretty low. Whoa, why are you getting up? No, you get in there. And you get in there. Okay. So, oh, they're hungry, too. Damn, everyone's hungry. Oh, well, hopefully we can make some food soon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been This War of Mine. And I'm liking the game pretty good. I'm going to continue definitely the series. We'll see where it goes. Hopefully we don't die sometime soon. That would be unfortunate. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the series, don't forget to leave a like, as I'm very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time with This War of Mine.